everybody, PIO Connor here. We are halfway through Fire Academy. It is week number eight out of 16. Earlier this week, the recruits did some more training and testing for their EMS portion of the academy. They also did some live fire scenarios on the drill ground in the burn can, and they had some site visits on Friday to an apartment complex and a house being built right in the area. They got to see how structures are being constructed these days and how that will determine the way that they respond on scene. And I just, this is all you gotta do to cross. Today they got to get back onto the drill ground into the burn can. They did live fire, went through a bunch of different scenarios, and they were able to put together really a culmination of all of the different skills they've learned so far. <laughs> I'm Kevin Dickhausen. I'm an engineer at Station 33. They've done all of these exercises in, in separate little stations, but now they're bringing it all together. When they bring it all together, that, that brings them into the real life ring of actually doing the burns when it comes to a residential fire, a commercial fire, or multifamily structure fire. Everything they've learned, the pulling the hose, the uh, talking on the radio, uh, the uh, doing the 360 and understanding where the fire is and where it's going all of that is brought today and that's what they're doing today is they're they're putting all of that into action
everything that we use has to be cleaned and put back. Some of it, some of the hose has to be dried and we have to get new hose. But if it's, if it's dry enough, we put it right back on the truck and we get ready for the next call. Putting, taking down the ladders is just as dangerous as putting them up. They have to come down without getting people hurt. Also, like you see the people up here, they're reloading the pre-connects. Our pre-connects are, they're not complicated after you understand the way they're loaded, but the first few times that they've been loading them, they are complicated. So they have to get those reps in there so they know exactly what they're doing each and every time. Because if you load that hose incorrectly, it's not gonna come off correctly, and then it's gonna tie up into a knot. So that's why it's really important to rehab these trucks and get everything put back the way it is. And that includes taking care of themselves, their PPE, their SCBAs, uh, their mask, all of that stuff needs to be rehabbed each and every time after each fire. Today we're out doing building construction with the recruits. This morning for about four hours we did a PowerPoint on as much information as we could give them on building construction and how it relates to firefighting. Um, we dive into it a little bit on the aspects of construction and what buildings are made out of. So when they fight fires in them, they know how to take them apart to find hidden fire. Now we're out here today looking at a house that's just got the skeleton up right now. They've got the outside on, but um, so they can see the components of how the house is actually held together. Um, then they're gonna go over to an apartment building and look at the same stuff. We've been showing them all the, all the different components, like load-bearing walls versus partition walls versus non-load-bearing walls, um, all the columns, beams, everything that supports weight of the building, let them know we can remove the drywall around those components, but we're not removing those components because then we're going to weaken the building even further. Um, we're also showing them the electrical, where that's running, all the plumbing and every, any kind of um, interior wall appliances. And then we're also showing them the, all the different void spaces where fire can get into. Construction nowadays is a little different than 50 years ago where they're using a lot of prefab wood, uh, glue lamb, OSB, as opposed to back 50 years ago, they'd use real two by fours, two by sixes, um, and actual wood decking. So now the fires in houses are gonna be, they're gonna burn a lot faster because of what houses are made out of.